Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss about dynamic role level security with manager level access in Power BI. That means, suppose in our company we have managers and certain other employees, but our requirement says that managers should be able to see all the data, they can view all the data for all the employees, but individual employees can only view the data corresponding to that. So how we can implement this kind of role level security into our organization? So there is a smart way to do that. And we have to consider a logic as well. So in this video, I'm going to tell you everything about it. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So now we have two questions. What if I want users to see their own data and the managers to see everything? That is a part of our requirement or in other words, how to add manager or director level access to the dynamic role level security in Power BI. And for that, the very first we have to consider some of the DEX functions that we are going to use in this video. The very first DEX function is the if. So we are very well aware about the if. It's a conditional based DEX function. And we can use this DEX function basically whenever we have to provide some if else condition or you can even use the switch DEX function. Now you can see on your screen what is the syntax for it if you are not aware about the DEX, but in order to implement the role level security in Power BI, you should be aware about the DEX. And also Power BI is nothing without DEX. In Power BI, if you are working on Power BI, you should have at least the basic knowledge of DEX. Now let's consider the another DEX function that we are also going to need, that is the maxx or maxx dex function we know that the max function is going to give you the maximum value out of a column or out of the numbers that you are going to discuss but over here maxx function is basically going to evaluate an expression for each row of a table and returns the largest value also you can see its syntax over here you need a table and then you need your expression to evaluate this text expression Another DEX function that we are going to use over here is the filter, which is basically going to return you a table that represents a subset of another table or expression and also the syntax you can see over here. And the last one that we are going to use is the user principal name. As I have explained in the previous videos, user principal name you can consider is the corresponding to your email address. For every account that is related to Power BI, it has corresponding to one username or the email address. So we are going to refine our table based on this. So that's what we are going to use over here. Now the real question comes, how we are going to show everything? Suppose I'm the manager and I would like to see everything, but also there's a requirement that individual users should be able to see only the data corresponding to them. So, in order to answer this question, you have to write your DEX expression in a way that always returns true as a result. That means if you are saying 1 equals to 1, it's always true, or 2 equals to 2 is also true. So, you have to write your DEX expression in a sense that it's always going to be true. That means the manager should be able to see everything. And for the rest of the employees, we are going to use the same way that we have implemented the dynamic role level security in Power BI in our last video. I hope now everything makes sense for you. You have already learned all the basics to implement this kind of role level security in Power BI. Now we are moving towards the demo. In the demo, I'm going to show you how did I achieve it and how you can do it. I'm going to explain it code by code so that you can understand it very easily. So guys, right now I'm on my Power BI file. Over here, you can see that dynamic role level security with manager level access in Power BI. And I have also created one table visualization over here where you can see the employee name, employee email address, employee ID. Then there is a column name is manager where zero corresponding to any employee. That means they are not the manager. And wherever you are looking at one, that means that particular employee is the manager. Then there is some product ID and there is a sales as well. Product ID doesn't make any sense over there. So if you want to remove, you can remove it there's no problem at all but before going further let's first have a look at our data and data model over here i have two tables sales and employee table they are related to each other using the employee id over here now if i show you the data in my employee table you can see clearly i have employee id employee name 
then I have employee email addresses and there is one more column which is saying is manager. That means whether this particular employee is the manager or not. As I just mentioned, one corresponding to the manager, zero corresponding to the employee. Now, if you will see over here, there is another table named sales. In the sales table, I have date, employee ID, product ID, and sales numbers. So this is the way I have created this data manually into my Power BI. But you can consider these are the two tables coming from your database or you can even create a separate user table where you can have is manager or not and their designation name etc all those kind of information. Now let me show you what you have to do. You have to go to this modeling tab and the modeling tab go to this manage roles where I have created one role. So guys now you can see my DEX expression over here I am using max filter and user principal name as my DEX functions over here including if condition. So let's break it down. First we are going to look at the filter, what I am doing over here. This is the filter expression where it's using the employee table. Then what I am checking, I am checking whether employee email address is equal to the user principal name. That means whenever you are going to your Power BI service portal or there as soon as you would log in, it's going to capture into user principal name. Then what it's going to do, it's going to find that user principal name into the table. For example, in my case, if it's connected via consultingpro.com, it's going to check my this email address into my employee table. Once it's going to do that, it's going to return me a table because filtered X expression is always going to return you a table. Now, on the top of that, I'm using this maxx dex expression. Now, what it's going to do, it's going to return me a value. That means the maximum value out of a particular column. So over here, you can see that what kind of value I want to return. I want to return the value from the employee table where the column is, is manager. So what I did so far, first I filtered out my employee table based on the user who logged in onto the Power BI service portal. Once it's done, it's going to return me a table. Then in that table, there's a column named is manager. So I'm just finding the maximum value from that is manager column and if it's equals to zero that means if the maximum value equals to zero that is corresponding to the employee email address and now if it's employee email address what i want i want to apply the same condition that i applied previously that it should filter my table corresponding to that only otherwise it should return a condition which is always going to true that means one equals to one it's always going to return true and we are going to get our values. So that's how we are applying the role level security over here for the managers. Basically, so once you are done with this, you have to just click on save button. But over here, one very important message for you guys. When you are going to use this column is manager, be aware that its data type is whole number. It's very important. Otherwise, your DEX expression is not going to be validated. It's going to show you the error. Now what you have to do, you have to come over here and you have to publish this report to the corresponding workspaces where you would like to publish it. Now this report has been published to my demo workspace and I have published this in my BI Consulting Pro account which is connected biconsultingpro.com. Right now I am into my Power BI service account and you can check my email address is same over here connected biconsultingpro.com and I am not a manager. I would like to highlight one thing over here. In my Power BI desktop, you can see that BI Consulting Pro over here is not a manager. So that means I should be able to see only the corresponding data. However, if you will look at this admin, he is a manager. So over here, that person should be able to see all the data. But another employee, Merida at BIConsultingPro.com is not a manager. So in this case, she should be able to see only data corresponding to her only and which is the 14,000. Over here, I'll go to this demo workspace. Again, let's come to my this data set, which is RLS episode 3 dynamic role level security with manager level access. I'm going to my security. Here, I have to add the email addresses over here. Let me add over here the corresponding email addresses. Out of them, two are the employees and one is the manager. After that, you just need to click on save button. Since my role is over here, you can see connected biconsultingpro.com. So basically, I should be able to see only the data corresponding to me because I'm not the manager. 
So let's test this roll over here. And here you can see that I can only see the data corresponding to me. Dynamic role level security is working very well. Now in another case, I'm going to check for another employee who is also an employee. And then at last I'm going to show you the manager one as well, which is admin at biconsultingpro.com. And now you can see that Merida also can view only the data corresponding to her only. So till now, dynamic role level security is working fine. But as you can see over here, the admin at biconsultingpro.com is a manager and he should be able to see everything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to log out and log in with the admin account. I should be able to see all the data. So let me go over there, demo workspace. And over here, you can see the report is already here. So click on this. And you can see over here that all the data is appearing. That means manager can view all the data. I hope now everything is clear to you. How we can use the DEX code, what are the DEX functions that we have used in this video, and how you can set up dynamic role level security with manager level access in Power BI. In the next video, we are going to discuss dynamic role level security and its configuration with designations and users in Power BI. Stay tuned for the next video and thank you so much guys for watching this video.